Hello. Welcome. How are you doing? Good. Well, today we're going to be doing your makeup as promised. I hope that's still okay with you. Yeah, I'm so glad to hear it. Well, I'm right next to my big balcony doors, so you can hear my wind chimes. I hope that's okay with you. They'll be going off throughout. I can't stop it. And the lawnmowers are piping up a bit, but they're having a calm moment. So, I'm taking advantage. And here is my big bowl of makeup. A lot of it's quite new. I got it especially, especially for this session with you. It's very special. But first, let's just talk about what kind of thing you want. Is there any special look that you're going for today? So you want something quite bronzy, quite glowy. Okay, what about a lip? A simple pink. Mm -hmm, I agree with that completely, I think. The best lipstick I've ever had is the ones that are the closest to my natural tone. Or quite a light tone, because the smudging and... You know what I mean? It's just not really worth the hassle. So, let's just start then. I'll go into it and do pick out the things I like and if you are not a fan or you want me to try something different just let me know. Um, I think I will just start though with your skin if that's okay. I've got lots of new products I really want to try. Um, yeah, some stuff I've never even used on myself. So you're very lucky. I have a mixture of expensive stuff and cheap stuff. I don't always think like really expensive stuff is worth the hype. I don't know about you, but I don't like wasting my money. However, the only thing that's expensive that I've always found the absolute value in is SPF. <laughs> and here I've got my SPF Factor 50, which we're going to use in place of the primer. I never used to bother with primers because I'm quite oily, as you can see. No matter what, I'm going to get oily quite quick. I need to powder. In summer, it's easy because you can have more of a glowy skin tone and that's like the look everyone has. But outside of summer, <laughs> you just feel like you look greasy. But doesn't matter if it makes me look greasy or not, SPF is an absolute must. A must, a must, a must for me. This is a brand new bottle, so I'm just going to show you the amount you should be using. And it's going to be quite runny. So you can see that it's two fingers, two fingers worth. So just come in. Use my hands, they're nice and clean. There's no point getting this all over a makeup brush in my opinion. Hands work best at finding all of those nooks and crannies of the skin. Yep, so just lift. Get right around the cheeks. And I will just sweep over the eyelids. Yeah, even when foundation and things has SPF in, it's often not enough. So it's important to wear one underneath. But I will fa I will say that some I've used make the base of makeup really nice. Really nice to work with. So don't be scared, get used to it. Save yourself Botox money. <sighs> That's definitely what I'm trying to do. That's the base. I don't usually wear too much foundation. I definitely need it, but I find piling products on really bad for my skin and I am having a bad skin time these past months. So I'm thinking I'll just carefully use some of this on you. It's only a cheap one, Revolution Conceal and Define. It's actually perfectly good for me. I do need coverage, but I don't need excessive coverage if you get me. So, a few dots, a few dots of this is plenty. Dot, 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 and 
da. And we'll just sort of move it around the face as to wherever it's needed, you know? So let me get the new brush I've bought. I've tried a lot of brushes for foundation over the years and I always just come back to this one. The Expert Face Brush by um, Real Techniques, I think it is. Yeah, Real Techniques. And it's just such a lovely buffer. I have three now and I use like one for foundation, one for like blusher or something like that. So I'm going to use this fresh one on you and just kind of dab this around the face like this. And then under the eyes, if you can just look up, I'll just sort of drag some excess product underneath. And then I'm going to just finally do a few dabs on the eyelids to create a little bit of a base for the eyeshadow. Lovely. I'm very happy with that. It's good coverage, but it's not too much. Yeah, perfect. So I'll dab some concealer on. I've just bought this. Maybelline New York eraser and I've had loads of concealers before so I'm fairly well versed in them. Um, I don't mind having a few things like on my face, like I'm not overly bothered with it being too covered. I kind of just think what will be will be. So I've got this brand new one and I'm mucky in it just for you. So if I dab it, the concealer comes out. Swatching it to make sure plenty of products coming out. Yeah, perfect. So, dot, 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 and then on the forehead, I'm just doing dot, dot, on the chin, dot, dot, dot. and again, we want to take this buffer and just buff it in place. As we've already got product on it, we may as well just keep it up for the concealer. Under the eye, just look up for me. That's really nice, I'm happy with that. I don't think we need any more coverage, I just want to keep it plain and simple so that it's something you can recreate yourself, if that makes sense. So keeping to the skin theme, let's go in with some liquid blush. Liquid blush. This is the KVD Luminary Blush and it's really really nice and it gives a nice glow to the skin. So I'm just going to go like this on my finger actually, just like this, and just go. I'm using my finger, I'm just going to keep blending that. How's that feel? A bit on your nose. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Doesn't need to be much, does it, to make quite a big impact? It does settle down, however, and get a little bit less pigmented, so we might go in with a little bit more powder. But let's just see in a little while how that settles in. And also, to keep to the liquid theme of things, I would like to liquid contour you. Any objections to that? Good. The options are this little NARS 
liquid. I can just dot it on your face and then blend it in. Or we've got this Revolution contour stick. I've just bought this, so I've never used it. And it's got like a light and a darker contour. So we've got the fair side there. And the darker side here. It's quite subtle. Maybe even a little bit too subtle. So I'm going to go with this nose one, I think. Mm -hmm. Just dab a little bit of contour where I think you should have some. So, in the cheekbone, so. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, just on the forehead. Da, da, da. Oof, noisy. Blending brush. We're just going to do this in soft concentric circles and just keep kind of smooth flow, keep it blended with the foundation. So. It makes a huge difference around the forehead. People don't always think so, but I know so. Underneath the cheeks. Spare under the chin. That's really left you looking quite sculpted. It is quite quite a stark one, yeah. Mm. I'm right quite happy with the effect though. Do you think we should blend it a bit more? Maybe a little bit more blending just on this side. Mm -hmm. There. Just turn. Looks really good. I'm happy with it. What about you? Yeah, just speak up at any time if you want something different. It's completely okay. So that's skin kind of complete for a moment. I think we'll just do brows now and get them out of the way um, and we'll work down the face. So I use nothing else except a very simple pencil for brows, this Barry M light to medium brow pencil. Um, I think less is more, especially if your brows are uneven like mine. It can become a real effort to try and do something fancy. So let me just comb them. Like so. Yeah. We just get that natural fluffy shape. I never think you should over pluck. I used to, when I was, even when I look back about a year ago, I'm like, oh, they are too thin. <laughs> and I'm just going to draw some hairs in. So that it looks very natural. Oh, it's a very windy day. It's got sunny. Yeah, quite happy with that. They match very nicely. This little eye palette is all you need to have really cute bronzy eyes. If you have a close up look, you can see brand new and the shades are very subtle. Let me open it up. Yeah, very nice. So they're both shimmers, one more than the other. I find shimmers so much easier to blend than matte colours. When you're not an expert, obviously it is tough. And I'm not sure what this shade, soft selection, is called. It says on the back watermelon, but that seems incorrect. <laughs> I'm going to use this one and I'm going to see how deep it looks on your eyes and if it looks very plain I might add a little bit of definition with this slightly darker shade. So, da, da, da. Just go to 
this side, do little circles. the crease and it does need a little bit more definition so if you don't mind I'm just gonna dab a little bit more on from here very nicely in fact. Just to line the eyes I'm gonna use this flat brush and I'm looking for a darker shade to just put over there but nothing too dark. So this is just a Bond This Way palette. I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna choose Cocoa, this one here. I want this to be really subtle and mixed with the kind of bronze look we're going for. Start in the inner corner, work my way outwards. Constantly just making sure there's product on the brush. Very good. It's very thin line, very subtle, but it makes a massive difference. Really uplifts the eye shape. What do you think? Perfect. Well, there's a couple more eye products to put on to just add that, you know, that real definition, that effect. Let me dig them out. So the first one is this white liner from Revolution. You can see it's just a plain white pencil and this is going to be for your bottom waterline. So are you brave enough to let me just go into your waterline? I know it can be quite daunting when someone else is doing your makeup and they go at your eyes like that. I personally hate it. <laughs> so just open up. Just. Lovely. That's nice. And now for the mascara. I've never used this before. This is the Revolution Big Lash. I've always used a KVD mascara and I really like it, but I want something a bit more affordable um, to take travelling with me soon, so I can get a couple, you know. So just blink, 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 good. One, blink, 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 blink. Perfect. That's eyes. All done. So back to your skin. I am thinking we should go a little bit deeper with the blush and the bronze. Does that suit you? Mm -hmm. You'll like it quite strong usually. Yeah, I've got this Bare Minerals powder. It's called Pink Me Up. Pink Me Up. And it's really subtle but lovely. I'm quite keen to use it. And I've got this new brush. So, are you okay for me to just dab this up the cheek a little? So I made a nice impact. Perfect. I don't 
think we need any more than that. But for the bronze, we're going to be really, really careful. I don't want to go too deep. But to give you a bit of a glow, I've got this Revolution bronzer. This is called Long Weekend. Sorry. Super windy. Just for a minute there. Just sweep. powder. I just want to mattify a few areas. The trick is not to overdo it, not to mattify every single surface, just the ones that look a bit out of place. So I would say under the eyes we'd like to be a bit more matte and maybe just the t-zone. The t-zone not this. Is as much as we need. Obviously, getting you a little bit glowy is the aim. So you look quite summery and cute. And we've just got lips left to do. So did you have any preference? I've got a few colours. Two Rare Beauty lipsticks. Yeah, they're very, very subtle. This first one is called Support. And I'll just swatch it for you. It's quite deep in colour. And this is my favourite in this next one. It's called Empathy. And I'll just swatch it for you. It's much more pink. So I think a bit more of what you're going for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Empathy's more of a like an autumn winter. Product. And this is a really good one for not coming off all over the place and uh, being a nuisance to keep up. It stays on really nicely. Would you like a gloss over the top? Yeah, I've just got this little one. Just a little dab, okay. Just dot, dot, dot. Just to keep with the like glowy theme. I love gloss. I just don't like when the wind blows and my hair sticks to it. That's the only thing I don't like about it. <sighs> anything else? I think that's you done. Um, you look completely finished. I'm just thinking, is there any finishing touches I could do? Oh, what about a bit more SPF? This Bondi Sands Face SPF Factor 50 is really good for the over the top of the makeup. I know it must be really worrying for people to ruin makeup with sun cream later in the day, so this is a great solution. Yeah, so let me just spritz you a few times. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. What do you think? Feel alright? Smells nice, doesn't it? Like holidays. you finished my hun. I hope you had a good time. Didn't make 